So this is Matt from Dice Around Table. Thanks for checking out the video. And this one I'm going to talk about Marvel Crisis Protocol. First impressions on this one as well. Uh, so I I was able to... Uh, COVID restrictions lifted around here. Things were looking pretty good. So I was able to get a blitz of some things. If you haven't noticed, some first impressions on several games. Marvel Crisis Protocol has been something I've been... Looking at, looking at, looking at, looking at, looking at, looking at for a long time. Um, but I've been holding off because I told my wife and I said, I am not buying in unless I can get it played with people on a regular basis. Because I'm going to want too many of these figures. I'm going to want too many. I am a Marvel fan. I am a Marvel fan. Grew up watching the 90s X-Men cartoon. Loved it. Not all in on comic books. I never jumped in all in on comic books, but X-Men from the 90s, Captain America, I'm all in. So a friend had it. I actually had three friends who had it. All were like, oh, I'll get you to try it. I'll get you to try it. I'll get to try it. So one of them finally got me to try it. I'm like, oh, are we going to be playing it? Yep. Okay. So, as an anniversary gift for me, my wife got me the starter set. I picked up the starter set. I haven't been able to paint much, but I assembled it, blitzed it up, and here it is. Is that what it looks like? The people I was going to play with have not... I haven't really gotten to play with it since. But, either way, I played Batman 2nd Edition. I really love the feel of Batman. Batman was a great thematic feel. Very heavy thinking. You're like, but you're supposed to talk about Marvel. I'm going to get there. This, oh my goodness, the thematic feeling is there. I feel like it's watching the movies unfold, comic books unfold on the tabletop. Just like Batman. This doesn't have that dice allocation. Oh my goodness. I totally blew my turn, but it has the same feel of, that's a broken combo, that's a broken combo, that's a broken combo. It's all broken and amazing, but it makes sense for those characters. I have not played objective missions, just the basic elements. If you don't know what this is, it is superheroes, Marvel. Um, not necessarily the Marvel movies. But, it has bits from the Marvel movies, comic books, feeling, um, things that you see in the movies, they can do with the card play. Overall, oh, I kind of wish I got it sooner, but also glad I didn't get it sooner, because I don't know if I would have been getting it played, and I would have been really, really down about it. I played it with the kids, and, uh, but they haven't asked to play again, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, overall, it's a classic FFG. This is designed for tournament play. I've done Star Wars Armada. I like Star Wars Armada a lot. This gives me feels of Star Wars Armada. Um, because turn sequence, on uh, the back of the book, very dedicated. Like, if you really... Casual play is great, but if you want to go tournament play, it's very scripted on what happens, when, how, and why, and what happens in what phase. It become super important if you're being super competitive. Um, so overall, first impressions, glad I finally got the starter set. I'm really hoping I can expand it, but again, I'm not expanding this until I get that starter set played. I've tried to set it in. I'm trying to control a little bit better on how I'm expanding what and being very trying to be strategic, even though it doesn't look like it with all the rule books I've been getting. But, Marvel Crisis Protocol, oh, it feels like the movie. Um, casual, tournament, it's all in. Um, so, that's just my first impressions. And, uh, look for hopefully more of this on the channel later. Thanks for tuning in.